comfortable with. If you click a like button on a business's Facebook page, that business can pay Facebook to display a little box in the right-hand column of your friend's pages with your picture and the logo of the business, telling them you've liked it. Facebook calls it a sponsored story and you can't opt out. So if you found your name and face in a sponsored story, would you say, harmless enough? Or would you feel you've been used in an ad without anyone asking your permission? If I press a like button on a brand, that could pop up as a sponsored story. I might not know about it. I certainly wouldn't necessarily agree to it. But, but when, you, when you press a like button on a, on a brand or on an ad or on a, on a page, you're saying, I like this. But I'm I not like saying this. I advertise this. Well, it, I, I suppose when you... So let's pause. That's an interesting... I mean, when, when you're, you're asking a profound question. What's advertising? When, when I press a like button on an ad, um, I'm trying, on the Facebook system, I'm affirmatively communicating that I'm associating myself with whatever I'm liking. And what that does is it creates a story. But you can call it a story. Many people would call it an advertisement. And Facebook is getting paid for those by the company. Isn't it? A, I, 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 I think it's a, it's a ranking mechanism. I don't know if I would call it an advertisement. Sponsored stories highlight the critical dilemma for Facebook. How far can it go in using personal information without its users feeling exploited?